So, it was recently uncovered that President Trump requested Bill Gates to describe the difference between HPV and HIV. All joking aside, it made me think that there could be an information gap between these two health topics, HPV, HIV, and if the variations do sound similar, it can be confusing. So this video is going to briefly describe the difference between HPV and HIV. Let's get started. HPV. HPV stands for human papilloma virus, and it is the most common sexually transmitted infection amongst Americans. So much so that the CDC predicts that every sexually active person will have had it at least once in their lifetime. Who knew, right? How do you get HPV? Through unprotected sex, anal sex, oral sex, vaginal sex, sex. What are the symptoms of HPV? For most people, there are no symptoms. So you can have it and never know, and it will eventually clear on its own. However, Certain strains of HPV do cause genital warts, and other types of HPV can cause cancer. Cervical cancer being the most common for women with HPV. How do you get tested for HPV? There is no test for HPV, because once again, it usually clears on its own. Then most women who do find out that they have HPV discover they have it during their annual Royal Women's Exam, when their pap smears return abnormal. How do you prevent HPV? Through practicing safe sex, using a condom. Is there a vaccine for HPV? Yes, actually. Over the past few years, a vaccine has been developed for certain age groups to prevent HPV. You can check out this website to learn more about that vaccine. HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. This is a virus that impacts the immune system weakening it and making it more difficult for your body to fight off other diseases and infections. And unlike HPV, HIV never completely clears from your body. So HIV will stay with a person who has it for life. How do you get HIV? Through the sharing of certain bodily fluids. So again, through sex, and can also be through methods such as the sharing of needles for drug users. What are the symptoms of HIV? Some people develop no symptoms when they're infected. However, other people develop symptoms similar to the flu within the first two to four weeks of being infected with HIV. Is there a test for HIV? Yes, you can go to your local healthcare provider or STI clinic and request an HIV and AIDS test. How do you prevent HIV? From practicing safe sex with your partner, always use a condom. And if you're a drug user, don't share needles. Is there a vaccine for HIV? There is not a vaccine for HIV. However, people who do have HIV can take antiviral therapy, which helps the virus stay at the HIV stage, not advancing to the AIDS stage. So a quick recap, HPV is human papilloma virus. HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection amongst Americans. HIV is an immunodeficiency virus that impacts your immune system. HPV clears on its own eventually for most people. HIV never completely clears the body and a person with HIV will have it for life. Once again, this is just a very brief video describing the difference between HPV and HIV. To learn more in-depth information, visit the CDC website or talk to your local healthcare provider. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other health topics you'd like me to briefly describe, comment below.